Hi friends. Okay, today we are going to try to do a tutorial on um, paint dipping your Ozark cup. Okay, so you're going to need your Ozark cup or whatever metal cup or whatever you want to dip. Actually, I saw someone dip a skull the other day. So I sanded my cup with my orbital sander and then I did a base coat of white. I think it's important to do a base coat because then you um, have something um, first place so that it will the paint will stick really well and that you if some paint don't doesn't get some places you have your base coat as one of your colors. Okay, five gallon bucket, almost full of water, a couple contrasting or coordinating colors you want. Um, the last one I did I used orange and turquoise. I didn't like how the orange turned brown with the turquoise. So we're going to do uh, red and yellow today, and hopefully we're going to get a better result. So bear with me. Um, I have only done this three times, so and also some kind of stick if you want to manipulate um, the water after the paint's in there. Okay, so yesterday I did a couple things. So I'm going to try to do like I did yesterday, and I ended up with a really cool swirl. My paint's all shaped. Now I'm going to I'm going to squirt them both together because this is how I did it yesterday and I really liked what it did. So here we go. Now I don't know the exact ratio of how much paint to do. So I'm just going to do that and then I'm just going to see what happens. So basically we're just going to wait and let the paint because the water's moving it's going to swirl itself. So I'm just going to, this is kind of boring, I know, but if you leave it alone and it's moving a little bit, you're going to get, it's going to get some movement. See how you can see how the red, the yellow is twirling into the red. And that's really what you want because then you're going to get, and I'm just going to, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give it a little push here and see what happens. See how pretty that is? Oh my goodness, it's so gorgeous. I love it. Alright. So I'm going to just squirt a little more yellow in there and see what happens. See how cool that is? Okay, so what's going to happen is when you put the cup down in the water, as you drag the cup into the water, it's going to put the paint, the paint will be sucked onto the metal, okay? So you're going to get a little on your hand, but you shouldn't get too much. So I'm just going to put my hand on the inside. I'm going to maneuver this a little more because I don't really like what it looks like. I don't really want it to be empty. Because see how where there's no paint, it's going to... See, so how you can just mess with it like this. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so I'm going to slowly put it in. You need to put it in at an angle so that you're pulling the paint down. Okay? And so I'm just going to start going. And then I'm going to just drop it in there as it goes. So I'm going to slowly... And you, it doesn't look like it's doing it, but it is. Okay, did you see how I did that? I just dropped it in. And it's, people were asking me earlier how much gets inside, and hardly any gets inside. So look at that. It is so stinking cool. And, and one thing I didn't like was that the drop. So I'm going to shake mine. I didn't like how the water dropped, got wet on there. Okay, so honestly, this is the trickiest part of the whole thing. So, Aaron, follow me up. So, this is the trickiest part is getting it off your hand onto the drying surface. So, you're going to just, it's going to just have to touch the bottom. And I'm sure there's a trickier way to do it, but I don't know how to do it. So, there you go. It's awfully pretty. So, if you'll see, look at my hand. And I discovered that goof off gets that right off. So 
One thing you can do then to get the rest of the paint up is just get a piece of cardboard and if you wanted to make yourself a canvas or something, you could do that. Just look at look how pretty it's still going to pick up. So I would use a bucket that you intend to only use for this because it ruins your bucket. Okay, see? So the water is now clean again. So if you wanted to, you could just spray some other color and go for it. Okay? Thanks, friends. Thanks for coming to Miss Lori's Craft Room. Um, have a great day. Thanks.